is sorry. <laughs> Open season, what a great movie. Welcome to the casting couch. Well, after a long weekend uh, up at Swartz, we have been in the shop um, doing stuff. Obviously, we got more stuff torn apart. Um, I uh, got almost a side done waiting on my roof. Um, JJ had an idea, and that was his idea because... He built his side paneling and then was going to build me while well, mine stopped. Long story short, mine stopped right here. He was going to build me the rest of this. He found one of my old doors up top and he made it out of that. So it looks a little weird with the black. Yeah, I'm sure. But you're saving tin while well, sheet metal and what have you and it looks kind of cool and if somebody tears my whole right side off for whatever reason i got a door and a number over here so it's one of them things but still haven't got up to get the rest of our parts from plowman yet had a lot of other stuff going on it's always going on but uh yeah we ain't really We've been up to stuff, but not too much. Oh, pulled, pulled Isaac's seat out. <clears throat> He's looking at a new seat. And I think Tucker might buy it because Tucker might be putting something together eventually. Maybe. Maybe. If the finances say yes. But that's what we're going to leave that at. So, and yeah, it's kind of a mess, of course. But JJ sweeped. JJ knows how to clean? Oh, yeah, dude. And he painted. He got his crayons on it. We let him have his crayons. <laughs> but other than that, really not up to much. Um, as of now, kind of waiting for parts and pieces to show up. Shipping's a pain. But everybody knows that. <clears throat> um... been a slow year not gonna lie um just haven't stuff is getting expensive and we're kind of just taking our time putting stuff back together and um checking one thing off the list at a time pretty much what we're doing and yeah but with that said Hoping to get back in here and hit it hard again um, during the week. JJ got, or not JJ, sorry, Casey got his shaft put in with his spacer and everything that we got from Swartz while we were out there. Got to change an upper. And that's pretty much what we've been doing. Um, kind of got some, <clears throat> some stuff behind the scenes going on. And when I say that, I mean like our trailer and um, just waiting for parts to get here. And it's kind of annoying. And seats to get here and stuff like that. So, but we have made it in here a couple times um, out of the night. Reason why I haven't put this all together is because I'm waiting on a roof and I don't want to bolt something down and it be wrong and have to come completely back apart. So I'm not gonna do that until I have what I need. And so, yeah. Oh, my hair's messy. The wind's blowing like 100 miles an hour outside. We're back in the race shop. Doing some work. Um, I got some new things as um, far as body parts and stuff that I put on that I didn't necessarily get on camera. Um, we come in here and we got my decking pretty much finished up. 
I bolted that on and uh, got a new roof. Um, so we bolted that on. And then I also got uh, this piece. My dad and I built this last night. So that that turned out really well. So we'll get this sewed up and then we can put sides and roof stanchions and all that stuff on and then it'll be the bumper next. So uh, let's get after it. You getting it done? Need more muscle. Yeah. Eat your Wheaties? No, I oh, that's why your grades are bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm I don't just. Think it's that. I'm, I'm just kidding. Know. Wish I had some freaking nylon five sixteenths locking there. I think they're over there. New. No. here digging around in the old uh, history over here uh, a lot of years of bodies that we've kind of hung on to uh, for what reason I don't know just to dig through them and be reminded of all the good times I suppose but last night we got my body on my roof everything stanchions it's all pop riveted bolted on uh, pretty much ready for a wrap. Now it's time to deal with uh, the nose and stuff. And we're just kind of cleaning up a little bit. This was all picked up, but I've been digging through it. So now I got to put it all back together. And uh, it's currently like 30 degrees, 30 or 50 degrees. It's cold. So we got the heaters rolling right now and then we're expecting thunderstorms tomorrow. But that just goes to show you how fast Nebraska can go from wanting the snow to wanting to drop a tornado on the ground. So, But anyway, we got his doors bent last night as well. Uh, got his doors bent. Uh, he's going white this year, I guess. So it's gonna look totally different. And then Casey has started uh, putting his, getting ready to put his fuel cell in and some, put his brake assembly in and just little things. So we're hoping to, we're hoping, oops, we're hoping to uh, deal with my bumper today. Uh, maybe adjust my T-bar, not quite sure. We were up until like two o'clock in the morning uh, just doing stuff and I forgot a GoPro and I didn't video because I was focused on what I was doing and I'm getting really bad about that so that's my own fault but we're kind of shops kind of in shambles right now uh, we found a banner an old banner from back in the day that we want to hang up so yeah, that's basically what's going on lately. And yeah, but I mean, if anybody needs an MD3, we got plenty, I guess. I mean, we got black, black, more black, a red one, and an orange one over there. So we got options, evidently, and quarter panels and doors for days that we could take on the road with us. Uh, that is when that time comes so yeah oh jeez three degrees.
Well, just like I said, the weather can change like that in Nebraska, and it did. And we got snow. And it was 50s and 60s the day before, and it dropped to 20 degrees and a low of like 10 at night. So this goes to show you how fast it can change. We pushed all the snow out. We had quite a bit of snow, as you can see from the pile. And we're still moving snow. And uh, yeah, basically we're just playing in the snow right now. That's a new thing we got. That, that little, that little uh, skid steer right there, that works pretty snazzy. But other than that, we were actually able um, to get out yesterday. The roads were actually worth the crap. And we went, well, I didn't go. My dad and Uncle Casey went down to the shop and picked up the s because it was done. And we talked about putting a dovetail in it trains going by talked about doing a dovetail and stuff to it and that's exactly what they did so uh yeah this was a big bank a snow bank that the wind had piled up and it is no longer so, a little close that door. Anyway, we're gonna get the SNS stacker opened up and we're actually gonna look at the floor and uh, we'll show you guys a little bit about that after we get the snow moved. Hey, I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Long time no see. We gotta put that back on, I just noticed. Um, so the trailer got back. Uh, basically what they did is they came back here and there used to be a light here and they pretty much made this at an angle. That gives us about 52 inches more, like, coming into the trailer so it's a gradual incline and then plateau so basically we're hoping that that'll make it a little easier on us plus we'll have load tires on it'll make it a little bit easier on us to make it in you can kind of see how it how it dovetails um so we're gonna give it a shot um, we got some ideas how to make it a little bit easier than it is. Uh, so, I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna be huge. And I think um, the, the two main cars that'll be loaded in this trailer will be uh, mine and Isaac's. And, um, and then my dad's and Casey's the 20 and the 19, they'll be in the Kentucky because one of the, I think those cages are an inch taller than ours, I think. Maybe not, they might be the same. Regardless, they're gonna fit now with load tires. We won't have to use load chocks, thank God, because those sucked. And we're hoping um, that we can start loading our stuff all back inside this thing, because we got it out. There's a little bit of some stuff in there. Majority was all unloaded and all that stuff. <clears throat> so it's a mess, it needs to be cleaned. We need to check out the generator, make sure it's all good to go, start it, let it run. It's uh, plugged into the building, but, and it's currently backed in the building so that we could actually load it now. Um, I think we're gonna have to send it off and have each cylinder rebuilt possibly they've developed a little bit of a leak over the winter and that's just part of having a big trailer with a big lift gate so yeah
Yeah. I'll, I'll get up there and unhook it. I gotta go around your hood's in the way. Alright, so as you can tell, we are getting the orange car out of hibernation here and uh, getting her out. We got some work to do. I gotta get up there and unhook it. Well, after like three hours of screwing around we actually got the car unloaded and it's sorry he's making money here real quick um we got the car unloaded now we're back in the trailer in uh we started to uh drop the car down um oops we started to drop the car down um, as we were doing it. Um, we decided to uh, that help him here real quick. Uh, he's probably pretty much on the money. Oh. Yeah, he got her with. I didn't even have to help him. I was worried there for a second. Anyways, like I was saying, uh, we started to lift the door back up to close it up and actually ruin a battery for the lift gate. Uh, this doesn't have a onboard generator. It has two big deep cycle batteries on a 24 volt system. And we actually ruined one. So we had to improvise in order to get this lift gate shut. So that was fun. Not really. So I think we're going to finally shut it up. We got what we wanted to do accomplished to get started on the weekend. Um, doing a little bit of work to the 24 car as you see we got it loaded. Um, the wind is blowing like really hard and reason being is we're supposed to have severe weather. Uh, severe weather uh, here in a couple hours and there's gusts up to miles per hour. I'm doing this and it's just starting to rain. So I think I might shut this door so they can get sideways. Fixing to cut some, some cut the under slung off of dad's car. It was put on there by the previous owner. Uh, just do some other stuff. So yeah, pretty relaxed day. Let's get it. Well, before I throw it away in the iron, this is what we cut off the car. Uh, the previous owner put under slung. cut it off anyway but you know we made sure that that's not something they put on there so we uh, cut her off and that's that so not our doing previous owner doing now it's time to clean up their wells and paint it webster county adams county southeastern carney county until 4 30 p.m at 3.51 p.m., severe thunderstorms were located along the line extending from near Holstein to near Rosemont to near Jewel, moving more than 25 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 
20 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Expect considerable tree damage. The damage is likely to mobile homes, roofs, and it starts. Remember when it remember when it snowed a couple weeks back? Now it's doing this. Explain and explain to me what this is. Well, I went down to Swartz with Alex to get his brand new car, and I needed to get some parts too. And this Corey Lewis left us this. Yeah. It says don't open from Nebraska. So now we're gonna open it. There's a note. You're in high school, you read it. <laughs> Spencer Isaac JJ. Sorry it took so long, but here's your new sports card. Good luck this year. See you all soon. Corey we got said. some new sports race Are cars. Are you kidding me? That's what we got. We got oh, some brand oh, new Oh, man. What? What? We got some brand new race cars. That's sick. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. That's bad. Huh? That's bad. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, Corey. Yeah. That's Shout nice. out to Corey Lewis. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. We're cool. These are our birthday presents. Yeah, I'd say. Heck yeah. Limited edition. Okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Out of work. Yeah, we appreciate that. We better put these in our trailers for good luck. Yeah, yeah. That's, right. that's for sure. Blue. Good lord. Well, maybe I'll just glue it right on the dash. <laughs> <laughs> right on the dash. Good really luck. Good. good luck charm. Well, shout out to those guys. That's awesome. Yeah. We appreciate that so much. That is literally awesome. Yeah, that's it. Exact scale model cars intended for adult collectors. That just tells you what they are. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. I was really, I thought it was going to be a frying pan or something. That frying pan that's he can't awesome. sell. You know what? That whole story behind that frying pan deal, I wouldn't mind having that frying pan. <laughs> that thing's huge. I'm going to take it to the races and there's a couple of people I'd probably knock inside the head. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we appreciate this. Yeah, that's pretty cool.